Are you doing okay, Mr. Smith? Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging in. Are you okay? You have a lot of people here watching you. Is that okay? I know, I'm getting a little paranoid. Yeah. This is the first time that uh, simulation based training uh, in ECT or electroconvulsive therapy is being offered to psychiatrists. Okay. So uh, we will explain to you exactly what we're doing and then we'll, we won't uh, do anything without explaining anything to you. ECT stands for electroconvulsive therapy. Some people know it as electroshock. That was an old term. Um, it's a treatment that has a lot of history. It started back in the 30s. When it first started out, uh, we didn't really have good treatments for psychiatric disorders. Uh, and so it was a miracle at the time. A lot of people got better who had been put in, in uh, asylums for a long period of time. So it became popular, but then in the 50s we started to have a lot of medications. And there was some thought that medications would take over and that ECT would become irrelevant. But what we found out is that um, medications don't work for everybody and they have a lot of side effects. For some people, ECT can still help. There's 175 practitioners throughout the country delivering 75,000 ECTs a year. The way that we traditionally train people to do ECT is to give them a series of didactic lectures and some small group teachings. People are essentially learning through workshops and on the job, um, and they often have not had a chance to really practice before they get to doing ECT on their own. They might be mentored by someone else who is doing the procedure, but there is always a possibility for mistakes to be perpetuated. And we really want it to be done in a sophisticated, standardized way. So this course allows us to really train people and walk people through so that they leave here with the skills to do it. When people get a little bit too much energy in ECT that's strongly associated with the memory problems of ECT um, and that's the thing that bothers patients the most. Um, so anything we can do to minimize the dose of energy um, and to individualize that and personalize that for a patient, that's how we can reduce the side effect profile of ECT. The attraction of this course is it, it is the first time, in, to my knowledge, that a hands-on um, course has been offered in which the simulation really mimics real life. It doesn't get better than this in terms of skill building because you have a group of experts watching you do the real thing um, on the mannequin so nobody gets hurt in the process and you really have an opportunity to build up your skills. This offers an amazing opportunity for people to get familiar with the procedure, learn more about the ins and outs of it, and learn more about the theory about it, and be able to use it to its maximum benefit for patients. Through the, the course we're offering today, I think it'll, it'll be a, a, a significant step in the direction of standardization of delivering ECT in a safe and effective way.